Hi there. Just want to uh, say hello and just want to talk you through some of these uh, chromatography things. If you look at these pictures on the screen, they're showing you bits of paper and various bits of dye being put in them. And along the bottom, you can see that there are well, pencil lines. They're basically straight pencil lines. You've got to use pencil because if you spell tip, well, that can dissolve. And after that, somebody has come along and they've put some various different colored inks on there. They put blobs of ink on and another blob of ink here. And over a bit of time, you can see that the ink has risen up and you've got a bit of red ink stuff we're going up there, that's gone up there, and we've got a big yellow there as well, I think, by the looks of it. It's zoomed straight up there, and it's all sitting there. And you get these characteristic, weird, freaky marks. And each one, you can see, from each one of these pens, you've got different marks. That's got a bit more yellow. Uh, this one here has got a bit of blue, a bit of light blue. And they've all got different. Let's have a look at the next one. So these ones are red. Well, they're not identical red. Can you see that this one here, this one here has not moved up very far. It's only moved up a little bit. And uh, that one up there has moved up quite a lot. But it's also got, can you see that little bit of yellow in there? You can just see there's a little bit of yellow has risen up. Whereas these yellow ones over here, they look to me like they're all pretty similar. It's just yellow has just moved straight up there. This one here, this red one is just a great big splodge, isn't it? It's gone up. And as it's gone up, it's just left red everywhere. It's, it's, it's clearly characteristically different. Now, there's some more. Let's not dwell on them. This is what we call a chromatogram. We generally draw them like this, even though, as you've just seen, they're quite colourful and they, they look quite good. This is telling us that this is the starting point here. That was the original, the original uh, a dye being put down there. The original felt tip has gone there and it's risen up. One of them's risen up. Now it could be red, could be blue. Our diagram doesn't show it, but it's just showing one blob as just being uh, just one blob. That's what I mean, it's just one blob. This one here, any other colour, don't know what it is, doesn't matter, but you can see it's two blobs. So we started off with one, one blob, one blob of felt tip, and that shows us it's got two characteristic dyes in there. This one here starts off as one, starts off as one blob, ends up as three. It's been split into three completely separate blobs of different colours. They might be similar looking colours, might be different, we don't know. But it's got three things in there. This one has just got the one. This is a pure substance. This one here has started off as one and it's ended up as one. That's just made as one thing. There's nothing else there. Uh, now, we've got something different here. What we've got is two. We have two different blobs, two different felt tips. I'm going to colour this one sort of bluey and I'm going to make that one sort of reddy. Now, when the people put the water there, they've put a bit of water in it and they've risen up. Now, the blue one has got two blobs. I'm doing them both in blue, but we don't know what colour they are. And this one here has got them something in red. Now, the thing is, we can tell something. It's, we know it's got three blobs, this one. But we can tell something else. We can tell that because uh, that's got those two are on the same level. They've both risen up by exactly the same amount. They must be the same thing. They've got to be. The ones above, they must be different. This one here is completely different to that, but it's also different to that. But we know that this one here is a shared. It's the same ink, it's the same chemical. Looking at this one, again, we don't know what the colours are, doesn't matter, but we had one felt tip, do it blue, and we had another one which was red. Now this first one here, which I'll just put in red, that chemical, that dye, it's not in the first one at all. It's not in the first one. There's nothing here. There's a gap just there. But we can see that this one here is the same colour as this one here. It's the same chemical, it's the same colour, the same everything. Okay, so we can see here, must be three different ones. There's one, two, three have been used. We can see that this first one is a completely pure chemical, just one of them. But we can also see that this one here is the same chemical and that one there is the same chemical. The second one, the second felt tip, contains two chemicals. There's that one. 
and there's one which I'll do it do in blue, but it doesn't matter what colour it is. It's that there. But this chemical is also in the third one. And the third felt tip contains a third colour, whatever colour it might be. People, that is how to read a chromatogram. I'll take care and be good.